just in case we don't know I mean every chess game is different um, the opening may be the same but if you're really getting into it and you're playing a challenging game they usually end up being playing chess playing the proper chess not any predicted type games where you know oh well I've, it's all theory and all this sort of stuff um, it then becomes your own brain doing those moves and then when you do your evaluation afterwards if you find out that it was all theory then fair dues but the real games of chess are where you have to put your own thought process into it no matter how much training you've done it's still down to your decision at the end of the day it could be based on all the theory stuff that you've been practicing you know x y and z this will happen that will happen that might happen but they're all if buts and maybes because you don't know how your opponent is going to react and that's what makes chess so unique and different so always bearing in mind seizing the opportunities that you're given as well is key but you'll use your own experience based on that I mean some people will have just left that and you know developed another piece or whatever um, we're looking at winning tempo so they've moved back you know the same piece doesn't always work that you know if you move the same piece twice you're losing uh, it's just a matter of finding appropriate positions so castle let's castle king safety nothing seems to be happening at the minute and they don't like our bishop so let's just bring this here just keeping that diagonal onto the yeah, let's bring the queen into the game I know what you I know you can see what I'm going to attempt to do bring the bishop here if they're asleep and then bam sorry bam cheapies but sometimes cheapies are okay if your position is good you know and um, the opponent does fall asleep um, so I'm gonna go here and then ask myself is there anything that can defend that the knight can but they haven't done that but they've given space for the queen here for the king there so when we put the check on here then obviously if we bring the bishop back and attack the queen king sorry or do we bring the queen back and attack again going backwards and forwards it's probably looking to get across here do we have anything we do have a white square bishop but it's not got any traction in there so let's hang fire on what we're thinking don't want to trap my queen as well so bishop comes here the king just moves across so it's safely escaping whereas if we did it with the queen then if he does go across then the queen oh I was just about to say it can come here but the knight is there hmm what's this knight doing I don't think these are the, this knight coming to here this knight's already out so it could go to here uh, do I get my queen trapped drops the pawn If I move the knight first, his queen is going to get all fancy, isn't it? No, he's going to move the king. So if he does move the king, then we can get a check on here. Okay, let's get the knight out. It's nothing worse than, you know, oh yes, so he's brought that, so we can go with this. His knight's protecting this square, don't forget. so in essence we will lose the knight but maybe at least then the queen can squeeze here at some point putting pressure on the king yeah when you see these sort of quick and dirty tactics well not quick and dirty but like it was like a, a check on the king type thing to squish it, it oh he's gone back so he's gonna go for repetition 
do have the bishop being able to tap but the knight will take back is there anything else I don't want to rush it thinking I've got it because now his knight is defending here is there any magic in this pawn move if the pawn is going to take with this one it's not going to mind you the bishop's protecting rook's not got any defense on but uh, ooh, okay what about this bishop taking this pawn bishop taking the pawn pawn takes knight gets up hitting this square but the bishop but the knight is still there oh time's running out time is running out what else do I need to develop maybe the bishop then oh what am I on about? He's on my, he's on my queen, <laughs> with the bishop. He's on my, oh no! Don't tell me my queen is trapped. <gasps> You're having a laugh. I'm gonna have to give up my bishop. Oh no! What was I just saying? These quick and dirty tactics you've got to look at your position it's got away I'm down a piece I am so down a piece his knight oh oh that was wrong that was wrong oh he just needed to take there didn't he yeah he just needed to take there oh my time's running out let's go here There's no increment on it either, so I'm dead duck. I'm a dead duck. Do, 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 do. Oh, man, if this was a 5-5, five, five, I would have had that five second thing to chit chat about with the position. Oh dear, that's a shame. Queen squished again. Oh, can you believe it's still trapped? <laughs> my god oh the queen is still trapped checkmate <laughs> that is funny that is after all of that we get a checkmate oh that has got to be one of my best best answer process ones ever that's fantastic brilliant but yeah, yeah, you have to be careful when you're doing, you know, you see some, you see a, a sort of quick type of check on the king. We did sit back, then we looked at what pieces were available for us. Um, but I'm going to just look at the analysis because we were dead meat because they should, I think the knight should have just taken the bishop. Let's just... Um, Go here and let's see what the eval bar is saying. Yeah, out and out losing there. One, there, look. Out and out losing. Why? Because of that. Look at that. Plus five point. Oof. So we put a check on it, makes it even worse. Why? Because all they need to do is take that. And then they're going to be a piece up. Our, pe our position is shot. I have to get my queen out of there. What would I have done? Probably come down to attack the knight, you know. But that's not going to do anything. He's just going to take this, and then he's got more. He's got more pieces on the board, and that would have been a waste. Look at that plus eight. So that was the mistake that the opponent made from there he's plus seven Whoa, ho, ho, ho. then they brought the bishop back so then we could take the bishop and then we had a flap on because now we're thinking oh we've trapped the trapped our queen but then on looking this pawn can't move so we can come here there's nothing actually attacking it and the king can't come out and nothing can protect it fantastic but not fantastic I enjoyed it anyway but yeah that that was a bit bad that one that particular move was not the best 
Yeah, we thought we had a winner. Hold on, let's go back. Yeah, so we're winning quite easily here. So to get the queen back, it's saying queen h4, bringing it out of the... I was so focused on just squishing the king, but that was caught, that would that did cause us a big issue. So that is something to really think about. I did have an escape square to then basically come here at some point, but not too soon. Still feels a bit trapped. Could come here, obviously the king moves. Hmm. 